welcome back to another video uh so this is a requested video by one of my subscribers i think his name is peace Con or deal with peace control cubs or something but yeah uh he asked me how i edit my montages so uh, let me just get like a clip uh okay let's just see or maybe like a non-edited clip <coughs> okay so let's see this one this clip uh just uh it's a normal attack shot, but this has a this has the shake effect, so I'll get more in depth for that for that clip. But yes, yeah, so let me just okay trim this. Okay, so here's this mic. It's against the ball, it's not good, but let's put it in. Okay, so so this is video leap. I highly uh, recommend to download this. <clears throat> okay, so here we got mixer. So let's just go to like the point of impact. So you guys, can, you guys can just zoom in with your fingers a bit, just to go to the point of impact. So I'm just see this bit. Uh, I do have a lot of short waves here, short wave effects here, as you guys can see. Uh, we got this. There's also more I have, but yeah, we're just gonna be using these ones for now okay so i have this one so go into blending uh screen uh go back one transform fill so it fills up whole screen okay that's it uh and if you guys don't notice how i do like a different color uh just go to adjust <coughs> uh i don't know how to say it but yeah just change this when yeah if you guys want to know or how do you make like colorful effect for like how it just changes the color over time so okay so first i had a keyframe okay uh, let me just go to the okay let's just see around here roughly my keyframe uh here for i think that's red press on it okay so right now it's looking like there's nothing really um and maybe go into like the middle i do like a three section one and then go to the end so now you just have three keyframes one at the start the middle and then the end so so this first one's just gonna be normal. Going to adjust uh HV. Uh let's just see if we want this one and then oh might have to get rid of this keyframe here. That's fine. So to adjust so oh no we, we removed it. Okay. Okay, so let's just do this one then. Okay, so screen, blending screen, transform fill, adjust I first had a keyframe, adjust this Okay, let's do it to two, and then add another keyframe. Adjust this another one. Uh, add another one. Just add. It doesn't have to. It shouldn't really be like this, but this is it. Like that. But yeah, you guys can just add keyframes like that just to make it in the clip. Um and. Yeah, that's basically short wave effects. Also, I do have uh this. Oh, I do have this uh overlay by Lick at Lick. I made a spicy montage. Uh, with clips. It was a free pack. So, okay. So we're going to transform fill speed put to like one point two five. I'd say. So let's just see if this is gonna be like before the kill. This is roughly just good to like the very very start. Okay, let's just see here and then and the clip there okay so this is going to be an opacity effect with this clip so just tap on the clip for a bit where the uh, effect is or overlay onto opacity do a 60 here and then just look like that so you can see more oh uh, you guys can always just trim it also not trim it just be lower i recommend like uh, maybe just a one one yeah and also in my in my spicy one that's uh <clears throat> montage basically uh i did like a red one so you have to find red and much yeah like that. so yeah that's it it's like a red there okay so now let's move on uh yeah let's move on to the shake effects guys so now if you're wondering how i get those shake effects for rock effects rock vertical rock horizontal uh zoom out effects all in CapCut. so this is on android probably or most likely <clears throat> so we're just gonna go to to this clip over here 
This is a non-edited one, I think, so. Yes, this is a non-edited one. So let's just trim it. Uh, if there's an ending, you guys just delete it. Uh, that's what you should do normally, but yeah. Just, just uh, snipe on a bot, but you know. It looked pretty good with this RGB effect. Uh, I'll probably show you guys the RGB effect in this video as well. But yeah, so uh, tap on the clip. Maybe zoom out a bit. So that's what I do sometimes. But yeah, this is... You can like kind of see the name. So go on to split. First up on the clip. Go to split. <clears throat> and then let's just do like a shake effect animation. In... Uh, I use shake one. There's also... Uh, you can see the duration of them. I'm gonna I'm just do the max, but yeah, so go on to volume, mute, and then if your clips are like mine, so 180p, 60fps, uh, then just tap on the clip, go on to speed, make sure the volume's muted as I did true, uh, go to like 0 0.7, and yeah, this is how it looks like. So yeah, uh, pretty good in uh, snipe there, you can just trim it if you want. <coughs> this is your finished product. Of course, you guys can trim it again, so, yeah, I mean, tap on the export button on the top right. And, yeah, so let's go move on to uh, the rock effect, like, rock vertical, maybe. Okay, so, right, so let's go into this clip. This is non-edited, so. Here's a clip. Let's take some of your so I'm just gonna trim this down to wherever you want it. <clears throat> okay, so if you want a rock effect, so okay, so zoom out a bit. Actually, let's go to this bit. Okay, so go to split. Go on top of my clip. Uh, animation. In just ignore this bit. Uh, okay, animation in, <clears throat> and then rock vertical, which I used in my movie. maybe do like a seven or one point two spot for me. So that's how it looks like. This is your finished product. Yeah, so pretty clean if you ask me. Uh. So yeah, that's a rock effect, and yeah, we can always just do like a rock f a horizontal effect as well. And let's just get rid of this ending. Okay, so here's gonna be for rock horizontal effect. Zoom, zoom out, not as much as this what I did. Let me just zoom back in. <clears throat> okay, so go to a point of in point of impact. So. It'll be this bit right here. Tap on the clip, press split. Uh, tap on the, the second part, animation in. Scroll a bit fast to rock horizontal. I'd say normally I could go for this. It's 1.2 for like a sweet one. Uh, yeah, that's too long, obviously. Maybe this. Uh, okay, if you guys are like this. Like this. <laughs> okay, so let's just uh, go to InShot, which I used to make my thumbnails and of you know, RGB effects. Okay, video, this, uh, let's just go on to the same clip, non-edited, this is non-edited, by the way. So yeah, we're going to this, uh, i You're gonna just let the clip play. Okay. So let's go to the point of in point of impact. You're right there. Go to filter effect. Uh see if you <laughs> uh, I don't recommend you buying it. It's kind of a waste. Okay, that's how it looks like. The video. Uh 
I'll just show you guys with RGB effects. So if, this is like the type of effect you want, not really big, not like this, because that's just not good. This is a really, really small one, like non visual. You can like and kind of see it. Okay, okay, so we've got this as in a tiny bit. I'll just show you guys which one I use. Make the birds like a bit more red. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is it. That's it. Uh, if you guys want kind of a more stronger uh, RGB effect. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, not photo. That's not working. Why don't we do another effect? Okay, let's just save this one. Okay, so maybe if you want to do like this one with a little shake effect, like I did in my montage, yeah, use that one. Uh, go to RGB again. Do a little yellow one. This one's just more new, so I'd recommend to put just a tiny bit higher. This how it look like. Obviously, not with this, I just wouldn't let me overlap it. Uh, but yeah. If you just want to like, record this edited, like a really well edited montage, you can like this, you can the effects inside of it. And yeah, just go into export. Oh, no, this. Okay, just go into export. Uh, I normally do 180p and 60fps in, in, in intro. It doesn't really do 4K. It says 4K, but it's, it's not even 4K. So, yeah. FPS doesn't matter because I did 30 FPS and it's still the same. So you can just do 30 FPS just to save a bit more storage if you want. Uh, but yeah, that's your finished product basically. We guys, uh, how I edit. Uh, hopefully you know you guys learned something new in this and your montages will just be way better and you know way better edited. Uh, yeah. So those are like the short I'm gonna use. Hopefully I'm gonna leave a link. Um, I'll try and like leave a link leave a link to like a google drive folder link but uh yeah or you could just type in uh devil yarn shockwave it won't be all of them probably but it'll be most of them uh yes yeah, so go check like just go search up or go into google drive if you have it or go into like maybe google safari and then type in devil yarn shockwave or like shockwave effect for fortnite montages uh and then yeah you guys can just do that just use the shockwaves from there. It's fun if it's not all the same. You see, I didn't cover all of the shockwaves I use because it'll be a really long video. I don't want to waste you guys' time. So, yeah, uh, you guys can just request videos, any videos I'll do them. So, so yeah, just tell me in the comments uh, what video ideas and stuff. Just tell me video ideas if you want. <clears throat> uh, like one of my subscribers wanted to do wanted me to make so yeah that's been me uh it's been your boy arts like and subscribe if you want uh your choice thanks for 70 subs by the way uh and yeah bye guys